Hello everyone, in this video we will present the recent of research journals on the challenges of English teacher in the practice of hybrid learning in the 21st century. Before we begin, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Tudor Vera Pasca Pinaranda as moderator and presenter. I'm Ashira Shapapkansa as presenter. I'm Matias Sahadianti as presenter. I'm Imelda, I'm as a presenter. I am Nafor Basari as a presenter. All right, introduction. The World Health Organization officially declared the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020. All governments in Indonesia have combined operations outside, including learning and teaching activities in schools. The transitions of face-to-face -face teaching and learning activities to digital forces various factions to follow the current law as government decisions. During this pandemic, e-learning tools played a critical role in assisting schools and universities in facilitating students' learning when universities and schools were closed. Then, the term hybrid or blended learning appeared. According to Storm, in 2003, hybrid or blended learning is a learning model that combines innovation and technological advances via an online learning system with traditional learning models, interactions, and participation. Next. The discovery of hybrid learning to measure how appropriate this model is to be used during the COVID-19 pandemic. The importance of this study is that this research analyzes the difficulties and problems at the same time finds out the challenges faced by English teachers in the 21st century, especially for English teachers who teach at SMIN Satu Pemangkat. At first glance, it is very clear that teachers have difficulties in various aspects, such as how to evaluate students in online classes, how to achieve learning objectives well, what are the solutions so that teachers can prepare ICT-based teaching materials, and so on. This is important to research because there has been a significant change in teaching and learning activities when the spread of COVID-19 pandemic is increasingly widespread. Research determine, report, and analyze the challenge of English teacher in hybrid learning practice at SMA in Satu Bumangka, Sambas, West Kalimantan, Indonesia. Research obtain scientific data consisting of event, phenomena, or fact related to a particular region or population. This research is called descriptive research. According to Guy, descriptive research is data collection to test hypothesis or resolve information about the current status of research subject. In this research, research objects were taken from the entire population and then used as research sample. The sample in the research was EFL teacher at SMA N1 Pemangkat. In this research, the data collection technique used in this research is direct communication. Data analysis is the process of systematically searching and complaining data obtained from interview and documentation by organizing data into categories, breaking it into units, center sensing, ar arranging it into patterns, and choosing what is important and what is not. Student and conclusion drawn. 
The data analysis process used Mills and Huberman theory. In this research, three steps were used, namely data reduction, data presentation, and drawing conclusion. Next, here the researcher summarizes important things and provides a clearer picture so that it can make it easier for researchers to display the data. By reducing data, researchers focus on important things and create several categories. After the data reduction process, the next step in qualitative data analysis is data presentation. Here, the researcher presents data that is well organized and easy to understand. Apart from that, the purpose of presenting this data is so that readers can understand the content of the research. In this step, the researcher draws conclusion from the data collected namely interview and documentation. Findings and discussion Teacher must carry out a dual role, namely as smoothier and coaches who have extraordinary abilities to carry out hybrid learning. During this pandemic, teachers are required to carry out various additional tasks to ensure the achievement of educational goals and the fulfillment of academic and non-academic targets. In addition, teachers are also required to be able to innovate and find ideas for subject matter method media and others so that learning can continue to be fun for students even thought it must be limited by distance okay there are several challenges of efl teachers faced during hybrid learning at sman satu pemangkat the first challenge is information not received Information that was not received properly was caused by basic problems. For example, the media such as the student's cell phone was damaged, did not have a quota to receive message from the teacher, and did not have a cell phone. The solution to this challenge is that the teachers gives a letter or notification officially or unofficially to students who have problems like this. Then the student is called and given independent lesson by teachers who is in charge of the subject, especially in English. The second is building student skill and character. The challenge is indeed a serious problem where students are required to be very active in the current curriculum. The solution to this challenge is when students are carrying out online learning from home, the teacher will not be able to fully control and supervise student activities. Therefore, Teacher must work closely with students' parents. Okay, I will continue my friend's presentation. The true challenge is not achieving learning target. The teacher had done their best in delivery material to students and are limited by their ability to use technology. The research assume that teachers are not satisfied in this case because learning targets are an important point in what education students get during hybrid learning. The solution to this challenge is 
that teacher must evaluate learning and upgrading skill for teacher in meetings or seminars held at school periodically to improve information, science, and technology. Okay, next conclusion. Hybrid learning that was carried out during the pandemic had their obstacles and become a challenge for English teacher at SMIN Satu Pemangkat. Some of the obstacles are first, students do not understand what the teacher is saying. Second, the trouble of developing students' ability and character. Third, students are not meeting their learning objectives. Learning in the 2021 20, AC country is different from previous learning. To develop 21 as a ST country learning teacher must start on step of change, namely changing the traditional teachers, centered learning partner into a student centered caring partner. Hybrid learning during the COVID-19 pandemic teaches educator that educator must always make improvements to teaching skill and technology. Right, that's all from us. Thank you so much for your watching. We apologize if there is some mistakes. We hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.